They're getting ready in the SRL room. This might be a very on-time start, fingers crossed. Dapper, if you're listening, could you add one win for Bagel Thief? This will be the second match between Bagel Thief and Jay Chalk. They played their first match yesterday. It was a nail biter. Came down to the final minutes. Bagel Thief wins this one, he will advance. The winner of this uh, overall round between Jake Shock and Bagel Thief will be playing D Drag in the sixth round of the alternative winners. sure everyone knows already, but Jay Chalk is the incredible organizer of the entire tournament, along with his team of uh, restreamers, administrators, seed rollers. Um, he's kind of the head of it all. He has a lot of great support, and I don't think this would be happening without him. Countdown has begun. Everybody hyped? Cause I'm hyped! a bit of a time difference between Jay and Bagel Thief, likely just stream delays being different, and they're they're actually in sync in real time. Jay Chalk showing off the non-moonfall strat. And a bagel doing the same. Here comes the first item. It can only be one of four things. And it's Space Jump. This already opens up a lot of logic. And it will open up a lot of logic further on. Morph Ball will be in the ceiling, as required by logic, and you are supposed to use Space Jump to get it. Looks like Jay would rather de-boost into it successfully. Nice. Super is also readily available here. I know some people were hoping for a Forced Spore Spawn, 
and that is already out of the running. I'm not sure if this freeze is an issue or actually maybe we're just syncing up the timers. I didn't know we could. No, we probably can't do that. So Boiled Chimp did not break the internet. Um, it looks like they may have broken about half the internet. So for now, we're watching Bagels run and uh, currently in the climb while the stream team works on j -Chon. This world is an arena, and it's everything versus me. j is sold out to advertisements, as we see. This item is going to have to be bombs or power bombs. And since it is not bombs, we don't have to fight Bomb Teresa. In fact, we cannot, if we want to, fight Bomb Teresa. So Jay's stream is back. It looks like he did pick up those power bombs and chose to go straight up to the Criteria Power Bombs location. It's worth noting that last match, the routing was exactly the same between Jay and Bagel. And Jay, having lost, um, was thinking it might be nice to do some divergence. So we'll see if they manage to do anything different this time. Bagel is going straight where J-Chalk just was. Although also note he uh, has a 20 minute de uh, 20 second delay, so they are much closer than they appear. Jay with a dental check, picking up supers just as Bagel picks up supers at Criteria PBs. Both runners skipping Gauntlet, which is a good choice because they don't have enough power bombs to get through. And while we're picking up early items, let's go ahead and give a shout out to these runners. Um, Jay, the organizer of the tournament, deserves your follow. Bagel, having knocked me out of the tournament, also deserves your follow. Um, they're both incredible runners and great streamers. Very, uh, very much enjoying uh, watching them. Any Yeah, well, Trump, no one going back down to look at Retro Bryn with their newfound PB. Yeah. 
Jay already got to see Back of Gauntlet. There wasn't much there. Oh, and by not much we mean just missiles. Could it be any worse? Jay, finding the various suit behind the mock ball, early supers area. This is out of logic, actually. So this is going to mean that speed booster should be pretty accessible for, in order for the logic to direct you back here. Bagel Thief is going to go straight to the same place and find Varia as well. Surely. J down to Etikoons. Probably Bagel will do the same. So, chat, where do you think the first route divergence might be based on the items we've found, Space Jump and Various? Boiled Trim says, chances are never. I can get behind that. I think um, the, the metagame at this point in the tournament is pretty well refined. The biggest decision is probably going to be going up or down Red Tower. Jay misses the mock ball, and that's got to feel bad. But it is kind of tricky. And Jay farming one power bomb because there's actually quite a few needed in pink print. Bagel nails the mock ball. Nice. J Chalk running into Mission Impossible. This is a bit of a scary room if you don't have a lot of ammo or health. No problem for him. Jay had a lot of trouble right here in his last run. Gets it first try, second time. Wow, Brinstar is nothing but supers. Supers in various. And speed booster. All right. That was the logic. That's a pretty huge find, and no one would ever miss it.
Jay and Bagel glitching the wave gate with their super missiles, their copious supers, only to find missiles. Jay collects his speed booster. So two really important decisions coming up here. One, do you check out Retro Brin at all? You'll need at least two power bombs to check any of it. Two, do you go up or down Red Tower? And Spazer. Oh, of course. Bagel Thief making the play for Waterway. We almost never see this because Speed Booster is never this early. And that may well be what Jay is hoping to do as well by farming one more power. I'm not sure what led to the difference in their power bomb counts, actually. Maybe Bagel just got a lucky. And Jay not finding the power bomb, a little bit angry maybe shooting a super into the ground, has to skip Waterway, which we know is just an energy tank, but he's going to be gnashing his teeth thinking, what did I miss? Jay skips Retro Brinstar, finds supers in Green Hills zone, and moves on to the crucial red tower thank you boiled shrimp bagel placed the pb where he could get wave door and mission impossible with only one jay goes down because last seed he went up and it hurt him maybe Oh, and Bagel had not done the uh, Spore Spawn skip at this point, which he which actually requires two power bombs. So that I, hmm, I guess then Waterway gave him the power bombs he needed for this. That's a really interesting routing decision that paid off for him. The energy tank that Bagel got at Waterway that Jay had to skip might end up being pretty important, um, especially if the seed doesn't give a lot more um, uh, energy coming up here. Jay definitely going down. Let's see about Bagel. Bagel with a mock ball in the green pipe. Spazer location is just missiles. Bagel also skipping Retro Brin. He also has no power bombs for. So we're left to wonder what could be in Blue Brinstar, Billy Maze, and uh, the other two nearby. Bagel making the same x-ray check that Jay did. This routing is very similar, though not the same in, in terms of order, but they are checking the same location. I always appreciate a good x-ray check. It is pretty slow for just one. trying to hide supers even though he could have found supers anywhere he wanted. The Kappa Tank play 
at X-Ray. Jay was practicing a Kraid quick kill before this. Good luck. Stun locks Kraid right in the mouth. And Kraid never had a chance. I agree, Boiled Shrimp. That's definitely the case that a Kappa tank could end up being uh, a lot with this low energy. Jay has one more item left to check in. Uh, Crades area, and then we'll go straight down to Upper North. The Smoky Beam is the final Crade item. Bagel following right in Jay's footsteps. Nice high five in the pre crate area room. Note that having speed booster and wave is putting croc in logic twice. So the seed may be thinking to place uh, quite a few items at croc. It might be a bust though. Plenty of items. Croc is four or five items and plenty of Four or five items in a row have been totally worthless, so we'll see. Well, maybe we won't. We'll see if they decide to make a croc check. That's a really interesting decision at this point. Chat, any thought? Here comes Bagel's crate fight. He'll go for the missile variety, maybe. Jay taking a save. I always recommend taking a save. Jay himself commentated my first match in which I took six deaths and two soft locks and definitely suffered for not saving. Bagel getting the stand-up glitch on Kraid, and then puts him down after a quick dance. Jay thinks about those supers and decides, yeah, 60 is a pretty good number of supers. I think he will stop by, by maybe 60, maybe 65. 70 is definitely enough for the rest of Jay sparks into the crumble shaft to pick up his third E tank. I think this means he's planning to go down to Croc. He wasn't just going to see what this item was and peace out. Or potentially this is a, a fairly fast route into Lower Norfair if that's your plan. But he's going for Croc! Yeah, Bullet Shrimp makes a good point here. Bagels actually picked up quite a few more missiles than Jay, um, which means he's definitely 
uh, feeling like there might not be charge beam, which in a full randomizer, you don't know if you're going to find charge beam at all. Although it's usually about Shay decides that even though Croc never did anything to him, he might as well bathe Croc in ass. Most runners agree. Croc seems to disagree for some reason. Zombie Croc decides to fight another day. Bagel Thief also checking the crumble shaft. Will he go down and go to Croc? Sees the E tank, doesn't really have an opportunity to get it conveniently, and skips it. J filling up his E, now pulling ahead of Bagel in count of. Bagel will take on Krokemeyer. Whatever the runners wanted, their routing is quite the same. Looks like Croc might be a bust. Jay has one more item to check in the cosine. Although I will say having 10 power bombs is much nicer than 5 when you have no bomb. That is pretty special space jump animation we just saw on bagel screen. And Croc was holding the ice beam. This reduces the ammo required and makes uh, Torian much faster in general. Looks like the Croc play does pay off in that case. Oh, Jay sparking up to get out of Croc and just misses the landing. That's that, that was so swagging. Bagel selling out to the advertiser. If you would like to sell out to advertisers, you can click on the bits icon on your screen. Watch an ad and donate all of the proceeds to speedrunners. So Bagel's stream had a bit of a reload. We skipped ahead by those 20 seconds that the runners were off. And that puts them a little bit closer and we can see exactly the time difference. Bagel not finding a ton of nice items here either, of course, but is about to go find, yes, find his ice beam in coast. Jay is starting his bubble mountain checks. So right now, the main item that the runners are looking for <clears throat> is the gravity suit. That must be an upper Norfair. Um, 
or potentially Gauntlet or a couple of other places. Uh, or actually wrecked ship. So uh, it's these runners know how to get through Ridley without the gravity suit. So um, it's mainly a play to try to make Meridia faster. Let's see if Bagel makes the same decision to check Bubble Mountain. Bubble Mountain is seven items, fairly dense, so I wouldn't blame anyone who tries to check it for any uh, any of their. Jay decides he is full up on these supers, but the seed just keeps on giving them. But 2565 is the perfect amount of ammo to complete the game with Ice Beam. So he really doesn't need any more pickups if he enters Turian with full. And Bagel goes for the Bubble Mountain items as well. So far it's a bust. Let's see what Jay can show us. And the final item... Wave Beam Room. And it's the Plasma Beam! This is turning into quite the beam combo, even though the runners already have ammo to accomplish most of what they need. But the biggest difference, well, Plasma does help in lower Norfair with low energy and little suits. It's going to make it easier to hitbox your way through Key Hunter. Yeah, GMX, I wonder if it might be a vanilla gravity suit. It's certainly not in Upper Norfair. Unless it's in this check that Jay's making right now. Cathedral item. And I suppose Croc Escape is one more item in Upper Norfair. Screw Attack. Now that is a clutch item for the Lower Norfair that Jay is right about to attempt, I believe. Jay opting to head back to the business center. Where is he heading? Actually, Daniel, I was just in Jay's stream before this, and I requested that he do a high jumpless lava dive when he he was like, what should I practice, guys? Um, and he didn't really have it down lately. Um, oh. But I imagine he knows the speed version of it. I don't know. I didn't see him practice it. Um, I think if Bagel feels comfortable with that trick, he is definitely going to go down to lower normal. Yeah, Boiler Tramp, you definitely tend to find charge after you've already like done all the math to figure out all the ammo, picked it up, and then started skipping ammo. And then you realize you never needed any. So Jay's going to hit up Red Tower, and this has got to be pretty frustrating to not find the gravity suit or high jump that he's looking for in order to enter Lower North. Again, if Bagel knows the uh, speed lava dive, he is going to be um, at quite an advantage from this. Unless Jay finds a really, really key item. But I think there's almost nothing that could... Uh, that could make this a, a time... Yes, gravity can be in Billy Maze in the SM Rat settings. The creators... Oh, you know where Jay's going? It's Waterway. Unfortunately, it's just going to turn out to be an E-Tank. Um, also, it cannot be gravity. Let me get back to that question. Um, the waterway logic says you have to have gravity and speed booster. Um, even though that's not truly accurate, someone who only knows how to shine spark is pretty pretty well able to just do this. 
um, without a short charge. She does a short charge anyway. Um, so boiled shrimp, the the creators of this randomizer setting or the, the varia randomizer um, didn't really envision it being used with uh, so few tricks known. Um, you know, kind of for beginners as the SM Rat tournament is arranged, and um, they didn't really think through Billy Mays too thoroughly um, when they said, in logic, basically you don't need any items for it. Um, of course, you need power bombs to get in, um, but other than that, um, n nothing is logically required. Um, if they made the settings again today, they've stated that it would actually require a gravity suit or space jump. Um, I'm not sure what exactly item set they have in mind, but those would, would make it work. And Jay is going for retro brand skips the super and let's see if gravity is indeed in billy Mays. looks like jay had the same thought as boiled shrimp bagel in the meantime heading up red tower is not prepared for a, a speed i should say a lava spark is the correct term for using your speed booster to get into lower Also goes left. I think Bagel is heading straight to where Jay is. Despite their best efforts, their routing is turning out to be exactly the same. Jay finds his favorite item and validates his run with the Spring Ball. Unfortunately, if you have Space Jump, well, the Spring Ball could be useful if you're going to go ahead and do a Suitless Meridia which would be a really interesting turn of events. I have my doubts that that'll actually happen. Jay has uh, two Retro Brin items left. They're both near the climb. One of them is usually pretty logically uh, locked, but having ice and speed does open up that climb super location that is. Hadouken Spammer back of Gauntlet was an incredibly useful two missile packs. Jay not finding anything at Old Mother Brain. But this is a hype check. This is a really rare location to be checked. And it trolls the crap out of him with a Kappa Tang. That's rough, buddy. And if I'm Jay or if I'm Bagel, I'm thinking the other runner might be in their lower Norfair already. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong about lower Norfair being available with uh, Lava Spark. But the next logical check would be Gauntlet. Jay might skip it for the sake of time. Yeah, it's a trick that I have not pulled off either. Oh, it's way out of logic, Boil Shrimp. You're not going to find uh, good progression down there, most likely, if you if you pull off a trick like that. Logic for the Lava Dive is actually two items that the runners have and got pretty early, Varia and Space Jump, and the Gravity Suit, which is the main item they're hunting right now. Jay goes for the Gauntlet check. With screw attack, space, and speed, it's pretty trivial, and not as much of a time loss as I implied. It's trolling, his save lets him reset back to the ship real quick. 
Looks like they're going to check either Red Tower or Rect. High five at Samus's ship. You cannot leave Zebes yet. Jay making the wreck ship play. He probably doesn't want to go to wreck ship because clearing wreck ship can be a huge waste of time. But with what we've seen, it's very likely that gravity is here or in Red Tower. I think it has to. Bagel taking the same reset, very much following in Jay's footsteps. The gamble I could see happening, and I don't think it'll happen, but if Jay is feeling really antsy, he might take this gamble where he doesn't find gravity in the first three items of wrecked ship and just pieces out and um, bets on red tower bagel goes ahead and bets on red tower it is a faster check and if you find gravity here you don't have to check as much of wrecked ship at all or any Jay getting ready for a Fantoon fight. I would say this is the most significant route divergence. Jay has posted a sad face in uh, SRL chat. Maybe hoping for some validation from Bagel that the uh, the logic is proving a bit difficult. Bagel finds power bombs and power bombs at Alpha PBs. This is the uh, the new Billy Maze. So no luck in finding that gravity suit in Red Tower. Um, as I said, I don't think Jay will make the gamble to check Red Tower before any of Red ships, so he's likely going to come out ahead on this, but if he does, he's going to be disappointed. Alpha Maze, I like it. Jay takes on Fantoon with lots of ammo and all the beams but charge, so not, not too much special tr strats gonna go on. He tries to hit Fantoon with a final super, and it misses just barely. So it'll take one extra round, and here comes the super kill. Nice fan. Bagel entering wreck ship with some nice speed. Jay checks left side supers, it's just an E-tank. Jay says no. Jay would need one more E-tank if he wants to do stand-up glitch, but it's often considered not worth the extra um, seven or eight seconds to, to get an E-tank in order just in order to do stand-up glitch. Right side supers is just a missile. So here's the major decision point. 
Does J check the rest of Rex? Does he maybe skip just the E tank in Rex? Bagel begins his Fantoon fight. J taking the save, which is useful in any case. J going for the E tank, the longest time sink of item checks in Rex Ship. Not wanting to miss a thing, he decides. Thank you for that bullet shrimp. What is the longest item check in Rex? Bagel with a down fan tune. Nice fight. Bowling, of course. But you get two items, possibly three in that case. Jay's gonna reset this missile. Go straight back to that save point. But you're right, in absolute time, bowling is quite the coffee break. It's beginning to look a lot like French vanilla, very, uh, I'm sorry, gravity suit? Maybe straight up vanilla? Hadouken, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that it gets most likely at the reserve. Just because the seed can put it there. I don't think the seed is really thinking about that, but... Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Bagel skipping out on that E-Tank as well. His quick item checks are done. He knows everything in Logic is already checked, so... I think he's got to check everything. He might try and skip the wrecked ship E-Tank. Maybe put that toward the end. That, that way it's basically last item. But no, he's going to go straight for it, just like Jay did. Jay finds the X-ray scope in the attic. Dusts it off. Thinks about it, whether he might find charge to microwave his enemy. Bagel takes that reset just like Jay did. Um, he's maybe a minute behind Jay right now. And Jay finds his charge in the sky. Microwave beam completed. So these runners are going to be put in go mode by the same item location. And then it's just a pure race from that point. Um, What's really interesting to me is that last race, Bagel slowly pulled ahead of Jay with the same round. And so we'll have to see if he can make the same magic happen in this seed, or it goes to a third match. Jay takes the opportunity for a coffee break. Bagel's about to come upon X-Ray, and it'll be interesting if he sees it, skips it. I think he doesn't like X-Ray, someone said in the chat last time. Yes, he's... He will get that charge beam in the sky, though. I don't think that's going to change the decision. It'll take too much time to go back in for X-Ray. So Jay's also going to have not only a bit of a time advantage, but also a microwave advantage over Bay. All right, we've got we've got one item location left. Your gravity suit is vanilla. Uh, 
That's a beautiful thing. Bagel misses the charge. Beam goes back up for it. At this point, Jay has a sizable lead. There's a lot of game left, though. They've only beaten the first two of the original bosses, which are perhaps the family. Bagel might shave off a few seconds by checking the gravity item, which is gravity, before going uh, back into uh, what turned out to be power. Yeah, Jay is in full go mode. a really good point dark red um jay may feel quite behind based on his routing decisions bagel did not respond to jay's sad face in srl so really he has no idea where bagel might be last seed they both went up bagel jay might be thinking that bagel went up to wreck ship again in this seed And Bagel is fully suited, ready to go mode. Jay is going a bit of an unusual route to Lower North there, but it works. You know, it might be an easy win, it might be a, well that just happened, kind of game. So we'll have to see. Yes, WJG, Bagel does do stand-up glitch if he gets the E-Tanks for it, which so far he's been skipping E-Tanks, so I think he's planning on not using it. But he didn't have Charge Beam at the last E-Tank. Yes, Croc held Ice Beam, so uh, both runners did kill Croc. Jay speeds his way through worst room in the game, visits the amphitheater without high jump, which is a bit tricky. Space jump in general is a bit tricky without high jump, and this is definitely the room that calls for the most space jumping in the game. No problem for... Jay skipping the final save before Ridley. With this kind of go mode, I think that's the reasonable call. Bagel entering lower north there as Jay enters the wasteland. I think this is crazy close. I agree with you, Captain Dapper. Jay doesn't even check the PBs of shame. He needs no items whatsoever.
Hey, shout outs to the Restream team, um, especially to Ghost Wizard for tracking this and so many matches. Captain Dapper, who just learned how to restream and is doing a fantastic job of it. Thank you so much, Captain Dapper. Um, and WJG, uh, rolling the seed, running SRL, being the general leader on duty. Super props to you all. And everybody give them a follow. Dude, that's not what I said. <laughs> Dang. Made me think for a second, but that's not what I said. Shade Downs Ridley super fast. Um, I can't be biased as the commentator, uh, but yeah, I want to see a match three too. I'm kind of torn because I'm a big fan of Jay as the organizer of the tournament, and also I selfishly want Bagel Thief. He's really good, and also I want him to win because he knocked me out of the so it would say good things if he like won the whole thing, right? And Hooky, and anyone interested in restreaming? Oh, hang on, Jaychalk is... Attempting the speedball, which he practiced before this race and nails it second try, first time, every time. Of course, Captain Dapper may speak to the restreaming learn himself, but um, it's 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 been made pretty straightforward by a fantastic um, leadership team. Um, we have uh, servers that run basically the restream the main duty is to crop things um set the sounds kind of like check and uncheck boxes and um put in the names of uh, the runners and the stream team um it's a pretty good time and if you have the uh, jchalk discord and hooky or anyone else interested um, just speak up in the volunteer channel and say, hey, I'd like to learn how to reach. Okay, Ridley down on both sides. That was really fast for both of them. Um, the supers definitely came in handy. And Jay has exited lower north. Bagel going for the mock ball and nails it first try? Oh my god. We have a race, folks. Their performance in Meridia is going to be super critical to who wins. Len, I have no idea if you're good at Super Metroid or not, but you are incredible on comms and deserve to do it um, as often as you like. Jay gets into Meridia, having already broken the pipe. He's just going to try and speed right through it. He will have the opportunity to microwave Bot Woon, which Bagel can...
Jay doesn't even bother with the short charge setup. Here comes his first microwave of the day. One snake down. Let's see if either runner can perform a halfy, given they have no high jump boots. J bonks the door. Ouch. Big ol' hot on his heels. Just three or four rooms away from Batwoon. And Jagon beginning uh ooh, Jagon, okay. Um Jay beginning his Dragon fight as Bagel is just on the cusp of And we're coming up on the one hour mark, which if you've practiced this and regular SM a lot, is gonna feel like a pretty late time to be uh, completing your final point. Jay crouching in his uh, microwave pose. This means that uh, Samus just stood up. That was not Jay hitting the up button. That was uh, Dragon's death always forces Samus into a standing position which tells Jay ASAP that he's completed the fight. Um, thanks so much, folks, for tracking the timeout of Batwoon. Uh, that means about a minute and 30 seconds of difference between these runners. That's definitely the kind of zone where anything can happen. Bagel does not have grapple or microwave. Um, let's see if he tries to use a speed kill or ammo kill or X-Factors, who knows. Jay speeding through Batwoon's room. Very nice. Bagel combining charge shots and speed booster. Jay gets a couple of bonks and slowdowns on his way out of Meridia. It's got to feel got to feel tense for him right. Now. And Bagel already done with Dragon. Beautiful. Shoutouts to Amadeus Zeno and Amadeus Zeno 2 for uh, being bitten by fish. Ghost Wizard pointing out a massive flaw in this channel's design in that of all the foods represented, lasagna is nowhere to be found. Bagel booking it out of Meridia. Jay not taking the ship save or the ship ammo. Doesn't really.
Jay had conveniently already opened this door once, so it doesn't need to super it. Speeds into the G4, which is massively sped up by our friendly folks at Varia Randomizer. Thank you. Shoutouts to the Varia Randomizer devs. They do great work. Yeah, I don't expect either runner to necessarily want to save at this point. Um, that is just... This race, they, they know this race could come down to a very, very close uh, time difference. Jay hoping to replenish some of his supers with the copious drops of Metroids when you kill them with ice. As long as he has maybe 15 or so, then he's definitely for a, a quick mother brain. And grouping these three together gives heaps and heaps of, well, only one super or so, maybe two. It's still well within the ammo that he needs. Bagel at G4 with J at Baby Skip Room, which becomes Baby Eat Room when you don't have high jump. So it looks like we have uh, the same minute 30 difference that we had before the Microwave of Dragon difference. That's some nice catch up by Bagel. Let's see if he can keep it together. Jay needs to refill his energy because of the uh, lack of uh, feasible strats for the baby skip. And Bagel gets caught by a Metroid! Oh, that hurts. That's three power bombs he has to sit through, giving Jay just that little more edge. I would say at this stage it would take a pretty critical error on Jay's part. Uh, to turn this race around. If he knew the time difference, I think he would save, but he has he, he's feeling the pressure. And trying the Zeb skip misses the first try, he's going to reset the room. I'm confident he's got this. He's turned off his screw attack successfully. Boy, that's got to feel bad right now. He knows this could make the difference in the run. And if it goes on much longer, it might. Jay was practicing this earlier. Definitely got it. Got to have... He does not need to turn off Space Jump. Screw Attack is the issue... Um, oh, Bagel Thief with the swag, Crystal Flash, skipping, um, skipping the uh, refill of... Now Bagel is breathing right down Jay's neck. And we have, is this a high five in the door? Keep in mind, folks, that Bagel's timer is actually ahead now. Bagel does the Zeb skip, no problem. And Jay gets it right behind him. This is going to come down to seconds, folks. It's even closer than it appears because the timers are about four seconds off. 
they're four seconds closer than they look like they are. Azure, thanks for that. They're actually three seconds apart in true timer time. It doesn't get closer than this. Now, neither of them can go below three energy tanks of health. Bagel getting his catch-up phase and completing it successfully, he can take that uh, full uh, He-Man. Makes it through. And Jay with three energy tanks getting hit by that same beam. That's a really good point, Azure. If they're in the same second of completion on SRL time, they will end up tying this match. And then it goes to a third, and I guess potentially a, a fourth? The other difference between these runners is that Jay is going to be extremely uh, nervous or uh, nerve-wracked, I guess, about the Zeb skip failing for so long. He knows that cost him a lot, and he's, he's watching for that dot done this way. Escape movement is definitely, I think you're right, Len, going to make a big difference. Do they try the blue bomber without high jump boots? Do they jump, jump through the right doors? I usually hope for an animal save, but boy, in this run, I, I, I gotta know who's who's gonna make. Both running the mother of brain three phase, no stand. Len recording exactly even times. Every shot counts. Bagel gets Mother Brain 3 first. Three seconds real time difference. Great first two rooms for Bagel. J Bonks. Bagel nails the spark. Jay gets the spark too. Both of them still have screw attack off, which makes this uh, fourth room a bit slow. Jay gets hit by the space pirates. Brutal. As Bagel ascends the final part of this room. Bagel gets his spark up the climb. It's going to be tough for Jay to pull a victory out of this one. Bagel only has to fend off Steam at this point. Jay makes it to the climb. He's up with his spark as Bagel is about to fend. Bagel has dot dunned in first place with a official SRL time of 1 minute 11 seconds I'm sorry 1 hour 11 minutes and 57 seconds Jay only 20 seconds behind in the end 1 hour 12 minutes and 17 seconds official SRL time GG for an incredible race both of you um, Bagel has taken this series in incredible fashion Jay's kind of uh, raging in in SRL chat, uh, spamming his keyboard. Let's see about an interview. I'd love to hear them interview one another.
Welcome to Stream Chat Bagel. Well played. What a game. What a match. Oh, that was very tense, folks. What a finish. Ended up being 20 seconds, but it was it was more like one to three for most of Turian um, once they got to the Mother Brain Room. Got to wonder where high jump boots were in case that might have made a slight difference in movement if it was very close to their route. Bagel in the green room. One second, Bagel. Welcome, Bagel, and good game, my friend. Yeah, thank you. I did not realize it was that close. I can't, I couldn't believe it when Jay split. Um, that done. He is still ranting in SRL. It's quite oh, impressive yeah. to watch. Oh, I feel so bad for Jay. I wanna, I wanna hear his side of uh, of things, but it's basically just mashing on keyboard right now. He put a sad face in the SRL like very early on. What happened there? Um, it wasn't anything really. It was just the routing choices, and this was another seed where you all made essentially the same routing choices with some minor divergences um but i think he had checked norfair looking for the gravity suit and just yeah just really felt like well now it's got to be up top and and uh and that was a waste of time despite the items that were there like ice beam mm -hmm. i can't believe we played the same seed again the same way pretty much it's ridiculous for sure for sure how were you feeling throughout that? Like I was losing again, same as last night. Oh um, my gosh. I thought I was losing the whole way. I, I didn't, everything was screaming wreck ship, but everything was screaming wreck ship last seed. So I thought, I'll, no, I'll commit and I'll go down. And obviously when I realized that was the wrong choice. Was uh, uh, yeah, I, I was very much in the same vein as Jay. Um, sad face, but... Yeah, I think he was looking to empathize and, and maybe see if uh, if you were feeling the same way. Um, I like the play to not respond to that. Yes, I can't do that. I can't give him any clues. Yeah. Um, it gave me hope because I thought, I didn't think he'd have done the same thing again. The odds of that are surreal. So I thought he may have took a death somewhere. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you both went wreck ship the first game, and this game you also had logical access to wreck ship, and both chose not to go there first. Yes. Well, as soon as I got wave, I thought, yeah, croc, got speed and wave, something good should be a crocomire, surely. Yeah. So I went, um, took the choice oh, to go to high jump yeah. and then croc straight away. Yeah, and I only got gifted with ice. The first game, and this game you <sighs> also had logical yeah, access to wreck ship. Yeah, Jay made pretty much the same call there. Um, so you last locationed the gravity suit location. It turned out to be 100% vanilla. Mm -hmm. um, what was that? Um, frustrating. Like, like I said, last last seed as well. The last possible item gravity could be is what I checked, and oh I didn't gosh. check gravity missiles this time. I thought it'd be quicker to just check the um, vanilla. I hope that it's there, and I made the right call, saving myself a few seconds. But, oh yes, wonderful. But yeah, still frustrating to be what second to last item I could have checked. Yeah, so. Jay was slightly ahead of you there, and um, he, you, you both um, went like reverse sprint star, checked gauntlet, um, and then Jay went straight in direct ship. You took red tower. Um, so when Jay found gravity, it was not his um, final location. Um, but it was still, I'm sure, extremely frustrating for him as well. Yeah, did he even check anything in Red Tower? Because at that point... No, he was slow go and checked yeah. literally nothing from that point. So, so that's what he then had behind. about... Mm -hmm, um, he, he held about a 2 minute to 90 second lead uh, for most of the rest of the match. He also picked up that x-ray beam in the attic. 
Um, so he had a microwave for uh, Batwoon and Dragon. Um, but your Dragon and Batwoon were both fast enough that uh, he didn't really pull ahead very much there. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. But, uh, so where did I catch him then? I know everyone was saying he failed Zabskip. Oh, yes. Uh, Zebskip was the spot. Jay held um, a commanding lead. At that point, it was so close to the end of the game, everyone said, well, this is going to match three, for sure. Um, <laughs> Jay got into another brain room, um, missed his first Zebskip, tried a couple times, reset the room, um, and then just banged his head against that Zeb wall over and over, and, and everyone started to realize this was becoming... A, an extremely close race. And luckily, just the second after you got it, he nailed it. Um, oh, wow. And so it just turned into this tense fest. The entirety of Mother Brain, every shot was counting. Um, and uh, and you all executed it really well. But um, unfortunately for Jay, uh, he, he had like a small bonk in the escape. And then he got hit by a space pirate in oh, room no. four and fell down a few stories. Room uh, four's a real pain when you haven't got a high jump. Yeah, and you both had pain. screw attacks off um, with good reason. Uh, so that was that was a real sad face moment to see the um, the the race really just just end in that room uh, before the ship. That's gonna be a real uh, well. I'm glad I put on a show and me and Jay. Um, it definitely we, was. We knew we were going to be close, but nowhere near that close. Um, so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just happy about that. Um, um, on to the next you're, one. You're facing d -Drag next. Um, I am. On your next matchup. Um, I've got lots of thoughts about this one. Um, <laughs> For um, <sure. laughs> not, not at the moment. No, I don't. Um, I, I, to be fair, I wasn't really expecting to beat Jay. Um, I was expecting to go out like really? a few rounds ago uh, at this tournament, so I'm just lucky to be here, I guess, at this point. So, yeah. Did your point of view change after you won the last race on basically technique and movement that maybe you have a shot against? Um, yes, it did change until it started messing up everything in this scene. I'm making every possible wrong decision I could. And I thought, there's I no see. way he's done the same again. So I, I was with uh, Chad for going yeah. to Game 3. That's um, definitely going to feel like a Game 3, I see. Yeah, yeah. it, it was so close to being a Game 3, and um, we were pretty hyped for that. Um, it's, it's sad to see Jay exit the tournament as the organizer of it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I know he's going to support uh, the tournament and all the runners from here going forward um but uh but this is where it ends for him as a participant ggj gg indeed um he hasn't really spoken about interview in srl i don't think he's been speaking in our uh... so we'll give him a couple more minutes maybe um any other thoughts from this seed for me? Um, I can do better than that. <laughs> like two seeds in a row where I just failed to read um, where things were. And yeah, hopefully I have a better performance against D Drake. Otherwise, I'm going home on that one. Yeah, I definitely know you as a formidable runner, great decision maker. Having um, having knocked me out of the tournament, um, I'm rooting for you. Keep it up, Bagel. You Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Peace. Yeah, folks. I think Jay uh, Jay is indeed pretty rage right now. Pretty mad at himself. The the Zeb skip is um, that's a tough area to. take. Um, here he is on stream, playing around, um, of course, practicing in the practice room. How to get that ice zeb skip right.
And there's the Zeb skip. Very, very quickly achieved. I, I think he's really used to, uh, to making that happen and probably not understanding what went so wrong. I suppose this is one way to interview it's with super missile. Yeah, Azra, I think you're totally right. Um, has he turned off high jump boots here? Because I think that's that was a pretty big difference maker in that error. Um, that he was just jumping too low. Under pressure, exactly. Um, you can't underestimate how much pressure is on a run like this. Um, it's it's win or or you're out of the tournament forever. Okay, I've invited Jay one last time for an interview. Don't worry, Captain, we'll we'll figure it out. It looks like he's gonna go ahead and teleport somewhere else, so it seems like this is about it. Um, so a final word of thank you to Jay. Um, you've been an incredible organizer, dealt with a lot of uh, a lot of different people in this tournament, um, and everyone's been fantastic. Um, but organizing it takes a lot. Um, I want to take a moment to recognize that and uh, and say you're amazing. I hope we get to do this again sometime. And uh, good luck with uh, with the next thing. And with that, I'll be signing off. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to give your follows, and we will catch you next. Month.